Today I bring you a chest you can farm over and over which guarantees anointed items and can also drop legendaries too. What is not to love? How's it going guys? My name is DP Jen. I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of this game every single week. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so earlier today I uploaded a guide on the easiest pumpkin pie hidden challenge, which is a part of the Bloody Harvest event. This challenge consisted of you heading to Heckhole through Morris upon Sanctuary. To gain access, though, you have to collect him 25 hectoplasms. But once in Heckhole, you first have to make your way past two lock gates and doors via killing the key masters which spawn in after you kill a certain amount of enemies within their said areas. But once you have gone through that second lock door, you are welcomed by glowing pumpkins and schools you can pull. The easiest pumpkin pie requires you to pull their schools in a certain order. The order is the colour of these pumpkins which will be glowing a certain colour from left to right. So get your colours, then pull the schools in that same order. This opens up a secret passage which allows you to grab a chest. This chest guarantees anointed loot. There is also a second chest in this room. Both chests have a chance of dropping legendaries but only the main one 100% guarantees anointed items. So open the chest or chests and it's as simple as to farm this people, quitting out and loading it back up. Then run straight back to these pumpkins and schools and repeat the process. You don't have to kill any enemies on the way. Both the lock gate and door will now be open. All you have to do is pull the schools in that colour order seen by the glowing pumpkins. And you can do this over and over and over again. Running it constantly, never having to kill anything and grabbing that anointed loot. And it really is as simple as that people. In fact, I don't think it's ever been this easy to farm anointed items. Now don't take these items the wrong way either, as we've learned over the past few weeks, some of these non-legendary items can actually be better than legendaries. And with the new Terror Anointed versions, it gets even better for this event. So farm away people and have some fun. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.